Chase Monger with SHLM TV. A new show that's coming on that channel is The Martin Gale Report, starring more me. The Martin Gale Report. The Martin Gale Report is basically going to look at what's going on in politics, and I'm going to not. I'm going to look at it from a an American citizen point of view, not an Al Sharpton point of view, not anybody that's in the entertainment industries as his commentaries as Glenn Beck, O'Reilly, Hannity, none of them. I'm going to go about it as an American citizen point of view. Now, I did a little experiment. My experiment is that I watch Fox News for two weeks straight, nothing but Fox News, Fox and Friends, Hannity, O'Reilly. Now, I basically saw, because I'm usually, a, I usually like a plethora of information. The Huffington Post, C-SPAN, uh, Meet the Press, uh, George Stephanopoulos, Good Morning America, uh, The View, these shows that are p mainly political, and then the blogs that are mainly political. So I take a look at it all, because I want to make a fair judgment, listen to all aspects of what I, of what's going on in the world and what's going on in politics. So, these are the couple of, these are some things that I picked up when I watched basically con the conservative shows. And I also am friends with the Tea Party on Facebook, the Tea Baggers. Yes, you got a black person as a friend. And I'm basically looking at what you guys are saying. Now, Fox and Friends has just well, this was like a while ago that they got on Obama's case about celebrate, celebrating Ramadan in the White House. See, my whole thing about the conservative is this. They seem to think that America started six years ago, that America is not over 200, over 200 years old. It's only six. This first pre this per black president is the only president that's done anything in America. And we have to chastise him because since he's the only president that we've ever had in America, he's the one that we're going to criticize the most. So, now, the Ramadan dinner in the White House, I'm going to just say this and I'm going to go to the next subject. The Ramadan dinner in the White House, President Jefferson was the first president to have a Ramadan dinner in the White House. George W. Bush has had one. George Herbert Bush, 41 and 43, has had one. Clinton has had one. And Reagan has had one. But they seem to get on um, Obama because, like I said before, they think that the American, the America is only six years old instead of over 200 years old. Now, I've also looked, I've also watched Fox and Friends. They've basically chastise Obama because he wants to bring the minimum wage up to ten dollars and ten cents an hour. Basically they're saying that he how dare he give the American people a living minimum wage that Americans can can survive on seven twenty five an hour. How dare he now I'm saying that if you can work 40 hours a week at 725 and still qualify for food stamps don't you think there's a problem with that? Now, the Affordable Care Act. Everybody wants Obama to be impeached, impeached for the Affordable Care Act. The Affordable Care Act is basically a Bob Dole program. It's basically a Republican program, but the fact that this president got it through, they have a problem with it. And the only reason why the Affordable Care Act, well, the Affordable Care Act would be so much powerful if the states that have g Republican governors was not so much against it. The states that are running their own exchanges are basically doing quite well. So from what I gather, and this is my own personal opinion, you don't have to agree with it, but from what I gather that the Republicans are okay that um, insurance can kick you off your insurance policy when you need it the most. They are okay for there to be a cap on how much services that you are allowed and they're okay with people with pre-existing conditions not getting health care. They're okay with that. And, my whole, and this whole Hobby Lobby thing this whole lobby, hobby lobby thing. The Republicans keep on saying, we do not want government between you and your doctor. But 
it's okay to have your boss be in between you and your doctor, especially when it comes to women and contraception. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Now, another thing that I gathered from Fox and Friends and Hannity and all those other Fox shows that it's okay for, they got on President Obama for releasing four Taliban leaders, as they say, the leaders, the main men, the, you know, the head honchos from Gitmo for this one American. They say, I never would have done that. We would have, and all of the, all of the Republicans that was for this person being released saying, well, I would have got him released, but not this way. See, they're always saying, as long as, long as it's done, but if the president has a way of doing it, I would not do it. I would not do it in the way that the president did it, just because the president did it. If that makes any sense. So basically, let me explain it to you. All the Republican senators and congressmen wanted this person released. Obama got him released, but the way he did it, they have a problem with. But they didn't have a problem when Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan traded arms for some hostages. So the arms that we're fighting and the arms that are in Iran, we gave it to them. They didn't automatically come up with them. We gave it to them. So, well, now. This is one that I really have a problem with, and this is what I've gathered. Um, Representative Dingle made a comment about calling a white person a cracker. Fox and Friends called Donald Trump over the phone and said, why didn't this president get upset when Representative Dingle called, oh yeah, Representative Dingle called this white person a cracker. Why didn't he get upset about that? But let someone call a black person the N word, and he's all upset. Now, me coming as a me as a black man in America. If you look at the history of what cracker means, cracker is what the slave overseer was called because he would crack the whip by beating a slave. The white people at that time called themselves crackers because that was a badge of honor because they were beating the slaves. The word nigger is from a person that is being beheaded. That was the last word that they heard before they died. They were a nigger when they were hung. They were a nigger when they were beating, being beaten. They were a nigger when they were being decapitated. They were a nigger when somebody defecated in their mouth. That is what they, the Fox and Friends people want to be able to say. They actually want to be able to call a black person a nigger, basically. Because if they didn't want to call a black person a nigger, why are they fighting so hard to be able to say that word? I'm just saying that's from my own observation. That's from me just looking in and that's from my own observation, so you don't have to agree with me. And now they're talking about Michelle Obama, who's saying that she wanted to take Chick-fil-A out of the schools. So my whole thing is this. American kids are the highest in obesity in American history at this point in time because they're eating all the fast food. Now, Sarah Palin came on the Republican convention or one of the CPAC meetings drinking a big gulp saying that um, Michelle Obama has no right to dictate what we eat and if I want to drink a big gulp I can but I bet you in Sarah Palin's house none of her kids drink big gulps none of her children eat candy and I bet you that her kids eat very nutritious meals I'm just saying now this black woman wants to help children and be healthy in school so they won't develop diabetes, they won't develop high blood pressure, they won't develop these illness due to not eating properly and she's being chastised basically. Now I'm not saying, I'm just saying that these are the observations that I have seen and the liberal media didn't tell me this. I actually watched 
Fox and Friends. I actually watch Hannity. I've actually watched some of these shows and I've actually seen what they said. I didn't hear a second hand. I basically heard it come from their mouths. And they're really going against Michelle Obama for trying to let make have kids eat healthy. Not make them, because you can't make kids do anything. They're, she wants kids to eat healthy. But she says she's against America because she's taking away our freedom. If we want to drink our big gulp, we can. The main person in New York, uh, independent in New York, want to ban big gulps as uh, New York law. So I'm just saying the observations that I've seen, not the observations that I've heard, the observations that I've seen seen is that they're waiting for this president to make a comment so they can go against it regardless if it makes sense or not and now Alan West is basically blaming the president for the plane being shot down over the Ukraine seriously seriously Alan West who was kicked out of government by the people of Florida is just begging for attention He's just begging for attention because he said if um, Mark Rubio runs for president, he's going to run for state senator of Florida because he missed the limelight. He missed actually people paying attention to what he has to say. So my whole thing is this. I watched Fox News for two weeks. So what I'm going to say, and I don't care what kind of feedback I get back. I want Sarah Palin to basically shut up or put up. By that I mean I dare Sarah Palin to run for president. So it's easy for Sarah Palin to say all these things about President Barack Obama. I'm sorry, as Alan West said it, Barack Hussein Obama. It's easy for Sarah Palin to say all this stuff while she's a private citizen. But I want her to run for president and say all this so America, because America doesn't watch Fox and Friends and does not watch the Fox Network. They have a stable base of Republicans, but America as a whole doesn't watch the Fox Network. So I want her to tell America how she feels. This is Chase Mark Martindale with SHLM TV, who's going to have his own show on that network called The Martin Gale Report. I see you next week. I'm going to do this once a week because I'm getting tired of their of these Republicans and these tea baggers basically trying to destroy President Obama's name. Because like one person said on C SPAN, you can't rip him out of the history books because he's already there, but you can destroy his name. And if I have anything to do with it, the teabaggers will be destroyed, not President Obama. This is Chase Mongear with SHLM-TV.